Hi everyone, this is Yatuza with BB Academy, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make bases like the one in the track Obelisk by Brethren. And this would be the recreation that I made of the track. Okay, so before we continue, please remember to like and subscribe to keep up with our latest uploads. And head over to dmbacademy.com to check out our preset bundles, producer bundles, and loads of content from numerous talented producers from across the scene. Okay, so let's hop on Serum. So I'm going to be showing you how I made this base. And it's actually fairly simple. Um, it's running on a triangle wave and a saw wave that is slightly detuned. So I'm going to go ahead and, and initialize a new preset so that you guys can see. So I'm going to go ahead and clear the preset so that you guys can see how I made it. And I'm going to go and turn off all the post processing that I have on it. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to basic shapes. And here we are going to choose the triangle wave. And we're going to put the voices up to eight, turn on oscillator B, and leave it as it is, but slightly detune it negative 34. And for oscillator A, we can tune it upwards. At this point, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the filter and make sure that it is filtering oscillator A and B. And we're going to draw sort of a ramp and make sure that the LFO is working every time that we trigger the note. At this point, we're going to go ahead and slow the rate down and link it to the filter cutoff and the filter resonance. So this is what it sounds like at the moment. Make sure to also raise oscillators B to four voices. And you can hear that the sound is coming through already, just a tiny bit. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and post process it outside of Serum. And what I like to do is put an auto filter so that it is shaving off some high end. What I did is I put another auto filter so that is filtering and only the low end is coming through. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the notes just so that you have them at hand. And you can copy them if you want. You're at F sharp and E here. 
Okay, and it seems that the filter is closing a little bit too much, so we're going to go back to Serum and open it up. Then what I did was I added some mid-high grit with erosion. And then I shaved some of that high end off with an EQ8. And added a glue compressor at the end just to boost it a little bit. So that would be the main sub layer, the low end of the sound. And what I did was I duplicated the same layer, but on this instance of Serum, what I've gone ahead and done is I have modulated the erosion with an LFO. So I am modulating the width of the erosion with Ableton's LFO. And I added some creative EQ so that I could add some more of mid presence. And since that boosted my lows a lot and got everything muddy, I shaved that low end off and boosted this layer with a glue compressor. So this is what it sounds like with the low end. And here's how it sounds like with the drums. Okay, so that would be the main base patch for Obelisk from Redren. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something new today. Again, this is Yatuza from DMV Academy, and I'll see you on the next one.